What's up people, it's your boy OT and welcome to Steady Bro. In this video, we shall begin from where we left off in the last video. Go check it out, link in the description. As of March 2021, there are currently 37 universities offering the Physician Associate course. Among these, there is only one university, which I believe is UCLan, which offers an integrated master's from undergrad. The other ones are offering either a master's or a postgraduate diploma. 99% of the physician associate courses are two years in duration. However, I've seen one course with three years and also there's an integrated master's from UCLan, which is four years. Clearly, compared to a traditional MBBS, you save a lot of time, save a lot of money. This can be viewed as a positive or a negative, depending on which side you give it. Believe me, there is nothing like a free lunch. You have to give something back. And in this case, you give up your independence. Just like Thanos looking for the soul song, you have to give up Gomorrah to get what you want. The courses, I believe, are predicated on the fact that most of the applicants are from biomedicine. And as such, theoretical foundation in immunology, biochemistry, biology, physiology, cell and tissue pathology, microbiology, is rather strong. And I'm not even going to front. By the time I started, I had forgotten 50% of the stuff I learned in biomedicine. But they came back after revising. Don't look at me crazy. You forgot 80% of yours when you finish your exam. So please. Majority of the courses are looking for your first degree in a life science. This has to be a 2 1 or above. Though I must admit, I've seen some courses accepting people with a 2 2, and that is if this individual has an extensive clinical experience. But between me and you, go for a 2 1 or above. Don't think with a 2 2 you can become a physician associate unless you invented the wheel afterwards, because the chances are slim. To be honest, that depends on the actual university and their entry requirements. Just make sure you check. But 2 1 and above, you stand a greater chance of getting in. I've seen people ask the question if psychology is accepted and the answer is yes in those 37 universities i've seen a couple that do explicitly list psychology as one of the degrees they do accept I wanted to give you all the requirements, every little detail, but bro, there are 37 of them. I really did try, but I couldn't. What I've done is I've put down in the description a link to a page at the FPA, which is the Faculty of Physician Associates. You'll see a list of all the universities currently offering the program, details and all their requirements when you click the name of the university. And of course, don't forget your GCSEs and your A-level. It's competitive to get in. Put yourself in the best position possible. Do well in your GCSEs, do well in your A-levels, get a nice to one or above, and bro, you are flying high. This is not undergraduate and this is not fully funded. However, there is a master's loan from SLC of 10,250, if I'm not mistaken, and a grant from HEE, Health Education England, of 5,000. Let me make this clear. The 10,250 will be split across the two years. So half there, half there. So we'll build the grant from HEE. So you have to find means of funding the rest one way or the other. Between me and you, I wouldn't advise you work part time because, bro, it's not going to be a walk in the park. It will be too much. However, I can understand that we all have different financial backgrounds and yours might be different from mine and you might need that extra money to help grease you through and let you go through the course or you might just be some super hustler that likes stacking peace whatever your case is just make sure you find a balance wow that's an interesting question it's not going to be a walk in the park as I said earlier on. And it will be intense because it is based on assumed knowledge. So you'll be going through things quite fast. But that is the nature of the course. Don't get it twisted. I have done it. Others have done it. And believe me, there is nothing special about anybody doing the physician associate course. They are no superhumans. They are no super intelligent. They are just average dudes committed in finishing something they started. If they have been able to do it, I believe so can you. There will be moments that you question yourself and you feel like you're not cut out for the course, but do comfort yourself in the knowledge that the path you've chosen has been walked by many people. If these people have been able to find themselves at the end of the road and have crossed the finish line, so can you. Just focus, do your thing, you know the sky is the limit. And I'll be here along the way, so you know the steady bro is always here. If you need anything, just hit me up in the comment section and I'll do my best to share some of my experiences with you. Hope you found this video useful. It's your boy, Yotzi. And salute.